Now we'll look at coupled oscillators, which are oscillators which can transfer energy between each other. In this video, we'll look at these ones. Here we have a couple of tennis balls on slats, which let them oscillate back and forth. By connecting them with a spring, we allow them to transfer oscillations between each other. The height of the spring corresponds to the strength of the coupling, so a higher spring causes stronger coupling. A lower spring causes weaker coupling. Of course, no matter how strong the coupling, we'll still find the same two normal modes. In phase, and 180 degrees out of phase. This is a Wilberforce pendulum. It's a weight on a spring with a rather large moment of inertia for its size. It can oscillate vertically and rotationally, and it can transfer energy in between those two modes. This double bar pendulum is one bar hanging from another bar, both allowed to swing freely. As a two-part coupled system, it has two normal modes. but it can also be shown to move chaotically when not in these modes. Here we have two tuning forks tuned to the same frequency. If I excite this tuning fork and point its speaker into the other tuning forks, this tuning fork will in turn start to vibrate. If I dampen this one, you can hear the faint vibrations of this one, but it'll be easier to see with this little ping pong ball here. <laughs> 